it's leaving for badminton day woo -woo. we've not got one lorry we have got two lorries because there are two ponies going as i'm sure you guys will know because i haven't stopped bleating on about it han are you excited i'm excited han's excited pete's excited bit irrelevant vlogging now i'm only doing it because i think it's good luck because we've done it every other time right we'll see you in gloucestershire woo -woo! guys we're so close we are on the precipice of action also i'm driving how oh, cool i hope it's not um bad luck as i mentioned we're taking two boxes we've hired the empire coach builders box which you can hire too if if i'm not hiring it because i absolutely love it and drive it all the time i can see the main arena that's the, the main arena i won't be going in there but are we looking at it oh my gosh i'm so excited okay we'll be able to see some five star fences soon and then we'll do the obligatory filming going through the drive with those lovely bolt head design banners So it is now the military operation of getting Dee Dee stabled up. Pete's got water bucket and hay net and hoping to God that they've put us in separate barns because I put so much on my entries. I was like, please, please, please do not stable these horses anywhere near each other. So yeah, there are two different barns. I'm hoping that they're literally in opposite ends of both. Um, so yeah, we need to get Dee Dee tucked away in a stable and then Jamie will arrive we'll figure out where she's going and then the rest of the week is basically going to be spent being very strategic when it comes to riding them and grazing them and making sure that they never cross paths so if they're both being grazed at the same time they need to literally go like out separate ways but i'm not even convinced we'll be able to graze them at the same time anyway welcome to the stables here she is stable number 34 we've got an end stable again guys so we think that jammy is going to be in the very far barn right down at the end so it's quite a nice amount of separation for them anyway Dee, we're gonna put your shavings down it's quite muddy in here as you can see so i think i'm gonna buy some more shavings because i want to like basically have shavings up to her eyeballs otherwise she's gonna get very dirty and she won't get a good night's sleep will you hello jelly is she in there yes i saw her i saw her they put the right one in well done team right this is base camp for the next however many days hi oh Oh dear, is she upset? You're, I don't think you're going to be that happy with the stabling situation, Mum, but we'll, it's fine because we're going to work through it. Well, I, I'm a bit worried. Dee's basically right on the corner and Jam has to walk past behind that corner. Ding. No, but it's fine because someone go and stand with Dee and play music okay. so that in case they whip her. And then they are far apart. It's just the walking in that's the issue. See that corner there? Well, it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Either way, they're gonna have to walk past. Why can't you go the other way? Can't you approach the other way to the stable? Well, you've got to walk through the gate. So D is literally on that this left-hand corner of that barn, oh. and Jam's the right-hand corner of the far barn. So basically, as we go in, you've got to take a hard right so that they don't go anywhere near. Yeah, but they are very far apart. Okay. In terms of they're far apart geographically, but it's the getting in. Anyway, sorry, Jamelia, you are back. Any head collar? Uh, I was gonna say, I was like, mate, you should have really travelled over one of those. <laughs> I did, I did. She says, I've got my fancy Lemur one on everybody. Oh, so good. Oh, you've done a poo-poo. I've done poo-poo. That look really clean. She says, oh, I know where I am. <laughs> oh, and you're not hot. We came and checked on you, didn't we? Look at that. Zoom me not. She says, oh, this is my jam, guys. Pardon the pun. <laughs> she says, 
glasses and the grass is so good here. Oh, she's suddenly looking a little bit tubby. <laughs> she's been looking quite lean this whole week. No. Someone is coming through. Yeah, someone opened himself to be a grass last night, I see Jem Bam. I'm starving. <laughs> you and me both. We've only had an apple. Pete had a white food to be fair, but I didn't even have one. Because I was a packed one. We're all in this lorry. Oh, yeah, I saw there was one left in my seat actually. Yeah. Was that there a was, coffee one? Was there was meant to be one? one left on my seat oh. as well. But classic Pete oh, packed one from Chelsea. No. Cold, yeah. I think, no, 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 no. I think Jeanette put that in the cabin yesterday, so. I don't know I did. Oh, anyway, guys, <laughs> the whole team is here. It's officially the start of the badminton videos. It's going to be two parts. Two parter. Because we've got too many horses here to do one part. <laughs> and I want to share everything with you. Like everything? the fact that mum is cold and has just eaten an apple. You're not going to miss any details, all right? <laughs> should we put a rug on, Jamie? Yeah, let's put a rug on. We should probably cut this without it too long. Oh, uh, Peter doesn't want to go in here because there's poo. Okay, so now it is the grand task of unloading not one, but two lorries. But can we just spare a minute to congratulate King Kenny and Pete Zeets on securing the two Himiway bikes? They have not budged. Honestly. I climbed over them as well. Oh, I'm so excited for these. And also like, so just so you can gauge guys. So that is the stables right the way down there. Doesn't look that far, but it is a reasonable distance considering we've got two horses and we're going to be going a billion times a day. And then I obviously can't show you out there. The cross country is miles that way. So having the bikes is going to be an absolute godsend. Anyway, let's unload the wheelbarrow, the food, the haylage, and then you, Sir, I've got to build a teepee. Yes. <laughs> oh God, every horse that Winnie's, I'm getting nervous. So Han has gone to stand with Dee and feed her treats and play music, just in case one of them wickers. Well, just, yeah, just in case Jam wickers, I guess. And we are going to sneak her in. Shh, go around the back of the stable. Tiptoe, try and find every stable. And then hopefully there'll be none the wiser until after they've both competed on Thursday. Then we'll probably reunite them. We've got lunch being made in the big lorry. Would you have a look at what my amazing dear, dear friend Abby has let us borrow. So Pete and I are gonna be staying in this gigantic teepee because this lorry obviously doesn't have any living. That lorry has day living. <laughs> Hobbit has actually decided she wants to stay in a cottage. So Hobbit's got a cottage down the road. So she's gonna use this lorry to get there and back. Um, but then obviously once we take the horses home, we're staying here for big badders, but there'll be no lorries here. So that's where the teepee comes in. So we're gonna try and set this up and Han's gonna stay on the bed in there. And then we're gonna bring another tent later. It's all very exciting, we've got a little Little village, and I like how everything's cream. It really goes together. It's like Cotswolds. <laughs> okay, tent update. We have now got it all pegged out. It's a teepee, guys, if you haven't guessed. And Pete has to go in. Good boy, oh, shoes nice. off. A beer, beer cap, yeah, for the mems. And he's got to erect it with this pole. <laughs> Hannah, don't laugh. Come on, grow up. We can talk about erections on this channel. Because <laughs> I knew you'd laugh. The one with the little the little hook eye thing has to go at the top to hang our lamp on that we don't have. <laughs> this is a bit of an ick. Oh my god. Come on then, guide it in. Guide it in. Well done. <laughs> it's a ghost! Out he comes. Steady. Ste is it right in the centre? You didn't take very long doing that. They took a lot longer in the video. He's a pro. No, he's not a pro, he's done a rubbish job. Is it right in the centre? Have you got a spirit level? <laughs> Progress, progress, guys. It's looking more like a TP. Where is he, Peter? Yeah. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. He's, tr he's trying to put the door up. And these two, being little to no help, that's what happens when you book a cottage, isn't it, Mum? No stress. Take it easy. Wow. <laughs> then we need to peg it all out, and then we're done. Very easy. Well done, Peter on the TP. You need to do the mattress now. No, I don't have to do that. <laughs> I've got to ride a horse apparently. Have we got anyway. Mattress? No, it's self-inflating. Oh, okay. Honestly, they have the best camping gear. Shout out to Abby and Jace. Let's show you inside here. 
is huge. Literally huge. The pole in the middle is a bit inconvenient, isn't it? Maybe we'll just take the pole down. Oh, it's crazy. So impressed. So impressed. Anyway, no shoes in there, Peter. It's in the back, don't you worry, put it straight in our tent. <laughs> booze, bag, booze, bag. Right, we're going out for a little hack. We are on a pony. On a pony. I'm excited. So, Jamban pony to start with. It's going to go for a little hacky whack. I'm going to go with on the bike, although I have just got, you can't even see, I've got a boo boo there because I've just <laughs> driven into a sign in, it, in front of four people. That was quite embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it was either going to the sign or going to the tent. Her embarrassment. Talking about me falling off the bike earlier. <laughs> right, can I have it, please? P. I hate that boy sometimes. Are we, so we? <laughs> Are we in trouble? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> the funniest bit is. Look at all the mud. Look at this here on the back of me. the seat. I don't care about you, Han. Look at this. This is clean, that's all that's freshly clean. oiled. We got back from our hack, by the way, guys. We got a bit lost. Look at the state of Han. Turn round. <laughs> well, I'm not happy about that. Right, how much battery you got left? Full bars. Sweet. Use a single one. I'm going to take it for a spin. You right, Pete? Hey. You all right? Yeah, water up. I'll have to get some this water, is yeah? This so good. I genuinely don't think we can ever go venting again without these. Wait, Didi. Wait, Jamie. Oh, nice bye, <laughs> bye. Have fun. Don't go too fast. Steady. Woo. <laughs> right, Mum said we're heading back to the stable. Jamie is all washed off. Jamie, just eat or do something. Don't touch my boyfriend. <laughs> so, I think I'm safe as I mentioned, Hobbit has a cottage with a shower and we're quite keen to get to the cottage with a shower, but Hobbit's throwing a strop and saying she's leaving now. So the question is, can we take the e-bikes a mile and a half down the road with Hannah on the back? And the answer is yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Why does Pete go so... Pete, watch the horses! Yeah, but you shouldn't even be in there. You shouldn't be in... Honey, you shouldn't be in the warm-up. That's for the horses. Yeah. I think we've got this. Pony number two, please. Literally wait till I'm like, warmed up for a canter. Pete, wait till she's warmed yeah, up. Walk a trot canter. Yeah, it's a zebra. Oh, there's a zebra. We've got two oh, zebras. I'm, sorry. I'm the whole thing. I'm very conscious that Pete loves that camera and that we have very little battery and weight of charging battery so I know he's like I'm gonna have about four hours of me warming up no no just four hours of you putting a bib on <laughs> yeah and then he's gonna go oh the camera died when I was filming your cross country <laughs> sorry Ooh. oh right come on DD well, show us how it's done battery tonight, so. I feel I feel like I'm in a cage the walls the walls they keep closing in I need a place where I can breathe Swim deep, find a better way. Something to light up a spark again. So you right, Meg? Me Wait for me! Stay. Wait for me, guys! Oh, Pete! <laughs> we need to explain. We, okay. I can't stop because of the balance. We can't oh, stop because of the balance. Let's keep going See a little ya. bit. Right, so we're going off Lots to of walk ropes the course. This way. We're going off to walk the course. There's ropes. With Meg's banana, there's ropes. I can't see where I'm going actually. My banana. <laughs> Should we go <laughs> round? Should we go round the other yeah, way? Yeah, go, no, go right and you'll see the sign I ran into. <laughs> go, you can go down here. I'm Meg. going down this way. See there, Meg? Which sign? This, this sign, you hit that one there. Okay. <laughs> I broke that one. Right. Meg's gone. So basically, we're going to walk the course. We've only got two bikes, so I am sat on the back of this one. I don't know if you can really tell. I don't know. Oh, oh my god, you nearly lost me off the back. Okay, no, sorry, I was, I was popped in there. <laughs> So yeah, we're uh, going to walk the course with bikes. Meggie's behind on the other bike. And uh, I'm just trying not to die. I can't see what we're doing. I'm on the back of the bike, baby. <laughs> We've got two people and we're still quicker than you. <laughs> going the wrong way. Right, uh, there you go. It's oh, yours. okay. Sorry, we're getting told off by Mike. Right, that way, yeah, but the fence You're going the, the wrong way. Other gates that we went through had on where those people are. Well, let's go up there then. Pete, let's go there because she's scaring me. She's a bit aggy. You can't go too fast straight away. You have to... I'm gonna fall off. I'll race you. Okay, go. <laughs> Oh, 
start far. Guys, I kid you not, this would have taken us, what, 15 minutes to walk over? Yeah. We've done it in about three. That's three amazing. minutes. Five. No, oh not my god. Maybe it was three. Yeah, we I reckon it three. Until we get to the top. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got our first look at first perspective. Woo! Okay. I am in love with this bike, but sadly, I've had to go onto my trusty old feet. Although, quick shout out to oh, Mountain Horse. They sent me these trainers literally this morning. They arrived just before we came. They are like walking on air. Never worn them before. And I've literally put them straight on brand new. They're so comfortable. So, so comfortable. Anyway, here come the heart palpitations because I'm in the start box and we're heading out to fence number one. Obviously, I'm going to walk the course multiple times. I'm only going to take you guys along with me once because you guys don't want to see a course walk more than once. Um, but the first time I walk is literally just like having a look at it, seeing what it's like, first impressions. I'm not doing my minute markers or anything like that. We'll come back out and do all the technical stuff tomorrow. I feel like I'm very shady. There we go. Um, so yeah, just having a look, seeing what the ground's like, seeing the fences. <laughs> biggest smile on my face so this is fence number one very nice however a bit odd to have a hanging log as your first fence they're literally racing up there and i've just got to walk and then a bit of a curve after to get up to fence number two next bit of news is that the corns are on their way so excited to see well see both of them um but I just want to give T a big, big hug. Obviously, I'm sure you'll know that she was meant to be here. She did an amazing job of qualifying banks at Bicton. And sadly, the stars have not aligned and he's had various like issues with his legs and his feet. Really, really annoying things. It's just bad timing. Um, obviously, you can head over to her channel, Life on the Left Rain, to be fully updated with it. Um, but as mentioned, she's had to withdraw. She's just gutting really gutting not gonna lie i've been a bit upset about it obviously not nearly as upset as poor t's gonna be but i was so looking forward to being here together and like sharing this experience together and she so deserves it and also would have just absolutely smashed it um so yeah kind of sad i'm doing this first course walk without her but she's coming up to support because she is an incredible friend and obviously em is coming too another incredible friend right I'm going to stop jabbering. This is fence number two. Let's go and see what badminton have in store for us. It's running the other way around this year, so it's going to be a little bit different to what you saw last year. So already at fence number three, difficult, because look at that ground. Can you guys tell that's quite a steep slope? And then it's a bit ratty there, and straight to the wall at three, which is a bit spooky. Oh, I'm suddenly feeling very much like I'm at Badders. I'm feeling alright up until this point, but... Oh! Yeah. A bit worried about that. Anyway, number three. At least I know that Bear has jumped this fence, so surely D and Jam should be fine. Alright, more using the ground. I'm currently um, sanding the roads and stuff. So we come up this little bank. Da -da -da. To number four. It's a new day for good times. So again, undulations making things a little bit more difficult. Up to 7A BC, the rail ditch rail. Oh gosh, guys, we are definitely at badminton. It's full on, full on already. It's the ground that's making things. Harder, I'd say. It's gonna sound like a broken record here, guys, but it's the way they've roped this that adds another element. <laughs> that was a nick. Um, so we're at 8A and B. You guys might recognize these fences. They are obviously mini versions of the five star solar panels. Oh my gosh, we go like down to a drop. This is so exciting, but also. Really, really technical. Wow. Look at that. Oh gosh. That's hard. We won't speak about the number of this fence and the location. But if you know, you know. There was a different setup last time. It was over there and it was a lot meaner than this. This is fine. This just needs positive riding. 
It was a little bit uphill. But Jammy jumped it the other way last year. He also changed the ground line. But it's fine. Okay, this is going to come up very fast. We've just kind of downhill. And then we've got this log and a very steep bank down. You can see there, walking the hundreds. Straight to 11 A and B, which we're going to talk about because they're exciting. Um, in fact, this is exciting as well, but I'll tell you when we get there. So we come down our hill. It's blimmin' steep, guys. And then there's still undulations here. That's going to be my word of the day, isn't it? Undulations. To 11 A and then B. Again, why have flat straight lines when you can have curved lumpy ones? A bit conscious about losing the lights, so we're going to walk and talk with 11 A and B in the background, but 10 and 11 A and B are actual five star fences. They were in the five star last year and I'm pretty sure the year before. So the log has been like deconstructed. I think both parts made up a five star fence. And then those two, I believe someone said they were in the water last year. Um, but then one year, I definitely remember them. They came like down a steep bank, or well, I'm skin, up a steep bank and had to jump them like on an angle. So obviously completely different questions, but they are the exact same fences. So I'm definitely five star fences, baby. So cool. Absolutely love that they've done that. Um, right, we're now at 12 which is a decent height, but really nice. And like, obviously these are meant to be left at fences. So we're not gonna dwell. 12 is lovely, onwards and upwards. We did just get a little glimpse of the house as well, which is exciting. I am absolutely loving the course so far. Not gonna lie, like it's testing, don't get me wrong, but I'm feeling like chomping at the bit to actually get going which is a great feeling because I'm sure a lot of you thought I was gonna be crying at this point and I would have been in that camp too because at the start of the season, I was very, very scared. Anyway, on to the hay cart and I might grab a lift on the bike because it's a little bit of a gallop now. 14 and 15, very much related. So we've got a bit of an option here, guys. I can either come around there and jump this straight as a house and then I'll have to probably circle all the way round, fiddle my way through here which will be quite difficult to then get to 15 or I can jump this on a real angle a real real angle yikes okay which makes it a corner you can see I'll jump it like that and then you obviously go straight to 15 but my word, do you have to be committed to doing that? Go back for a bit, what? Do we jump the actual, yeah. where the five stars go? Ooh. Oh my God, we do. Hang on, I'm gonna pan back round. Oh, run! I've been bothered with you, I've got it in the highest place. I've been Yeah, Pete wanted to go back for a bit, so we let him and Meg has taken the, uh, the reins. Taking the reins to take pan. Take me for a spin. Oh my God, I can't believe we jumped through with a five star jump. <laughs> Those bikes are legit the dream. Oh my word, I'm loving them. Right, to tell you what else I'm loving is the fact that this year, Badminton has just been like, do you know what, Grassroots? You're five star riders too, and you get to come past all of the fun five star bits and you get to jump miniature versions, which is just amazing. So here we are at the Jewel Gates, I believe these are, number 16A and B. And for the five stars, it is fence number six. So we've got to decide, do we jump them on the angle, guys? Come inside this, and then kind of be a little bit on the angle for this, because of the string. Or do we go round that, canter on a bit of five star ground, and jump this straight? Annoyingly, I will not be able to watch what people are doing. So we just have to make my decision with but I reckon go inside. Oh, Hello. look at the house. <laughs> so, um, as you guys will know, if you watch the Solihull vlog, we are creating the best TikTok <laughs> to ever have been seen. So we've ditched course walking for a little bit to do a TikTok. However, it requires me <laughs> cycling one-handed filming whilst Pan has on the back. 
Well, I'm in the back. <laughs> and the best thing is, is you can't even look straight through it. We have to turn off. <laughs> anyway, go to my TikTok to see how it panned out. Let's <laughs> hope we don't fall off. My legs don't work now. <laughs> that TikTok took longer than anticipated. Anyway, we're back on with the course walk and we've made it to the lake. Exciting, exciting times. And it does look quite technical this time. Sorry, guys. Back over the rope because obviously we're not taking the bike on any of the courses. So we've come down from the gates to 17 again. A nice event, so I think they're trying to be nice to us because of what's coming up. Hopefully we won't have this harsher reflection with the sun. However, for the horses, it looks pretty much like they're jumping directly into water. They're not, but the, from what they'll see, they're gonna think they are. So a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of leg for this. But then you have to ride straight to the rope because we've got quite a decent hanging log on the way out, which you guys can't see because it's literally night time because we took so long filming that TikTok. And out over B, which are looking quite full up. So this is actually our one, the 91. A bit further away from the water. <laughs> Only joking. These are five star fences. Wow, wow, we are. They are big. That's a bit of a, a bit of a joke, really, isn't it? They're huge. Anyway, we've come over our swan through the water, get as straight as we can, and here is our fence. Be nice hanging rail and then is it over no it's not you go down and jump that on an angle personally I think I'm going to go straight and turn left because I don't want to risk jumping that on an angle well actually jumping it straight but yeah I think that's asking for a run out oh cantering towards the house yeah personally I think for the sake of a couple of extra strides I'm gonna come down more this angle and jump it straight because it would be very annoying to have a silly run out trying to jump it on that angle and also you've then got to turn after so it doesn't really make any sense a good canter past the house perfect opportunity to get some videos and then haha -ha, the very special vault head sign fence oh we have to jump set sides of this this year look there's flags in the middle gosh last year we could jump anywhere this year we very much cannot, and I need to remember that. So this year I am jumping the left-hand side. Oh my gosh. Closest to the house. Jump the left, jump the left, jump the left, jump the left. Oh my God. Do not be so stupid here, Meg. Anyway, gorgeous fence. Whoop whoop. Good old Volthead Design. They actually sponsor this whole thing. It's the Volthead Design Grassroots Championships. As for a lift, what happened, Dad? <laughs> How far I, did you make I it? got about three seconds and then I got told off. She, I got full named. <laughs> she full on. You panicked and just went. Rah, rah, I rah, panicked. I thought we were both going down. <laughs> I panicked and just wobbled, which is what happened earlier when I ran into that sign and killed myself. <laughs> From now on, hand. Oh, only gets lift. Well, hand only gets lift. Oh. Yeah. I got about okay. three seconds and then I got told off. Mate, I'm spotting another fence. Right, so I'm, I'm to spotting another fence too. Off you get, love. Number 20. Yikes, that is big for the 100. Oh, I've never been so pleased that I'm not doing that. Also big for the 90 as well. But certainly more jumpable than the hundreds. So for that, we'll be thankful guys. So they are being testing right up until the end. So you see this and you think, oh, lovely. Nice log. Potentially a few issues with shadows and stuff. But oh wait, why is there an A there? Hmm, because they've just thought, to tell you what, we've not narrowed yet, let's pop an arrowhead in at 20A. Okay, curving line. Oh gosh. Yikes. Yeah. Mate, how nasty is that for a 90? You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine once we get home now. You'll be fine, come on. Okay, the final fence and then gallop through the finish flags because we've gone clear. Woo woo! Yes. P.M.A. Positive mental attitude. Right, boom, first course walk done. I feel like I didn't really concentrate as much as I should have done, but potentially that's a good thing because it didn't give me a chance to get stressed. We've just we need to have a look at them had fun, today. yeah. And um, we'll do some proper course walking tomorrow. 
all hopefully day either have Lucinda or Cam. I think I'm gonna do it twice tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So I need to do my minute markers. Right guys, let's go and find the quarry. Okay, <laughs> so we made it back and can you hear those little <laughs> tones in the background, those laughs? Maybe the clinking of glasses. <laughs> hey! hey! Cheers to badminton! Oh, you haven't got a drinky! You good? Okay, yeah. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited but I'm very sad that you're not here with Banks. No, but at least I'm here. There should have been Yeah, I think it's actually, I said to you driving in, I went, I don't think I could do this, so hats off to no, you. No, exactly, I said that to Mum earlier. Mum was I like, oh no, like, it'd be nice. I was like, Mum, you don't compete, you don't know what it's like no. to come, <laughs> see the course. I was fine like, oh, until we pulled in, this. and then, well, oh, I wasn't fine, I was, if it's I was 50-50, then we pulled in and somebody was leading their horse down the ramp with their lorry, and I was like, she went, you all right? I was like, <laughs> oh me, I Just feel me so a glass bad of wine, for you. Please. <laughs> but fair play for coming, and yeah. also, mate, you'll be back here next year. Yeah. Like you're, so, I like, like you're the so from the barrier day sound. That's there. the yeah. best part. So. Well, That's no, made you feel yeah. Yeah. Just very kind of him to throw so much at me in two weeks, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah. It's been tough. But it's we're here tough. to cheer on the grey girlies. Yeah, yeah you're stable. legend. My odds, oh, my odds are on horses, D. Hello. Shot horror. We've got nine horses. The course is a bit full on, so yeah, hopefully Didi will help me out. Yeah. How are we going to open it? But no, not, we're not using words like that. No. Just, yeah. It's a challenge and you want a challenge. Yeah, yeah. It's very technical. Really nice. They've shrunk down a load of five star fences. And some of the act, you know the ones? Like the log with the brush on, they, they were actual five star fences. Oh no! They just had them obviously yeah, way more technical. Than oh, yeah, they did. So we had oh, actual five star fences. No. Oh, that's oh, well cool. Um, yeah. Right, we are gonna again have oh, dins, but <laughs> hey, well done. Pete. Honestly, there's nothing these bikes can't do. Gun, can he? There's nothing Pete can't do. <laughs> well, you seen the TP? A little bit floppy. <laughs> <laughs> And he told me how easy it was to put up. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> lies. He's literally gone. Today on Professionals Master Chef, we have got Hannah Francis. She is a 22 year old chef. 23 now. Oh, honey, you're so old. Oh, Mate, you were telling me you don't need air in here. Come and look through this lens. Look how steamy <laughs> that is. Don't give me air, please. <laughs> Right guys, Han's cooking up a storm. Well, Han's reheating a storm. <laughs> hey, I'm cooking this and I'm cooking the mashed potato. Well, done, mate, I can't see any of that. Oh, it's little... Maybe you should open the. Let door. me windscreen wiper. <laughs> How much have you had to drink? Just the half that can, half, half a tin of very diluted gin and tonic. Mate, I'm just happy. I'm high on life. Okay. Um, Hobbit, thank you guys. We did wow. We didn't say goodbye to Hobbit earlier. She literally just left and went to her cottage. She will not be returning until Can the you morrow. Put your hand there, second darling. I don't know if I want to put thank my you. hand there. Oh, don't be so anyway, right? Shall we? Oh wow, not this is a yet. real. <laughs> just gotta keep these warm, guys. Okay. A so real. You gotta put this on. watery treat. <laughs> okay. Guys, we'll see you in the morning. Let's hope I don't have food poisoning for Oi. dressage <laughs> at 9.06. Pizza! Oh, Let's move from banana skin. What's on the menu today? today. It's Carcavan and... Oh, my flesh ain't Instant mash. Oh, well, Instant mash. You can tell I'm a vegetarian. Instant mash. I reckon they have this. How on earth should you put uh, Up in space, guys. Astronauts. Right, Peter. Flash. You yeah, please. Look at that. I, th I think it's the cheap version of... The unbranded version. Yeah, literally. Eat your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> We've got no salt and pepper, sorry. Where? Applauds to oh, the chef. No, wait, we have got pepper. I've seen pepper. We Mom had it for lunch. Pepper. She's taken it with us. Yeah, I'm me. Say thanks, Hobbit, for the food. Salt, pepper, ketchup, brown sauce, salad cream, wow. mayo. Which would you like? Thanks, you can tell someone does lots of stay aways. <laughs> Morning. Oh, you're not naked, are you? No. <laughs> no, but also the corner is asleep, mate. Okay, the camera is literally about to die, but Han's been super good this morning. She went and fed the ponies at quarter past six, like a blimmin' legend. Mucked them out. And, um, oh, old lady pants. Look at tea, she's steaming up the lorry again. I'm gonna get a shower, because I feel groggy. I feel like I need to wash yesterday's. She is back and showered. Sorry guys, the camera literally died, but it's good, because I didn't know what I was saying. Anywho, it is time to pick my first wife food at Faddington. Let me just talk you through these flavors. I forgot my sunny's on. Nope, sunny's on is a better vibe than your face, Meg. So we've got cold brew coffee. We've got salted caramel, which to be fair, if I drink that, Pete's gonna get really upset. We've got smooth vanilla, and we've also got a new one, which is creamy cookie. What do we want, guys? I'm gonna go vanilla, just cause I know I like her, and I'm not gonna lie, 
the nerves are starting to kick in a little wee bit. Not badly, because I'm not jumping, but more like nerves of, I don't know, doing something stupid, like forget my test. I've gone through my test a billion times. Let's get a look at her in the light. Oh, let's get some sun on her. There with. I've just gone for vanilla, because I thought, I'm not feeling too risque today. Huh? Nothing. What? Nothing, I just said plain Jane. Plain Jane, no. I know what I like. I know what's good for me. Right, so you know the drill, guys. Gotta give her a little shaky shake. Well, let's just get you sorted there. Give her a shake, open her up. And we do have to make sure that we are taking rider nutrition seriously, because the first time I came here, I ate nothing but prunes. And, uh, Why did you eat prunes, Meg? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Han? It wasn't actually for that reason back then. <laughs> I ate prunes because I was terrified, but Mum was like, they're high in fibre and you'll get stuff from them. I got out from my prunes and I fell off. So I've made a few changes. Luckily now I work with the amazing Y Food. These little bad boys will work as a meal. So you can drink this. I'm gonna sip it the entire time that I'm platting. We've got ourselves 26 vitamins and minerals in here. High in fiber and protein. So they're gonna fill you up and give you everything that you need to go and compete and ride your horse to the best of your capabilities. So chin chin. Ironically, there's just a little gin can there, but we won't be on that now. I'm gonna put some plastic gel in Dee's hair because she's just grazing here. I just brought her up in my towel, guys. There's not a look. You see here, I've got my brand new smart grooming bag with all of my plaiting and cleaning essentials. However, I'm a little bit superstitious. So in my hand, I have got my original smart grooming plaiting kit because I don't know if I can bring myself to use new thread bands and needles here. Is that silly? Should I just use the new stuff? I mean, realistically, this stuff is still really good, so it needs using anyway. Um, I was gonna have her in the lorry as like an emergency plaiting kit. I think I'm gonna use it today. Dee Dee, trailing behind. Hobbits decided to grace us after her night in an English castle. Cottage. Did you have a nice time? It's lovely. Gee, she's really very nice. Sending I'm not us. Tell anyone about it because I want to have it. Sending okay. us very passive aggressive uh, pictures, guys, of her in the garden, a glass of wine, nice shower, a double bed. <laughs> we actually had an all right night. It was just chilly. Good. But my cottage was so lovely and warm. Oh, <laughs> go away. We've had the one and only Micro Parish turn up give her a nice last minute massage. Um, yeah, so Micro is giving Dee Dee a lovely massage to try and relax her. We're not feeling very relaxed because it's very noisy in the tent today. And then if Pete just pans around, we have got another special guest. <laughs> Coming to the opposite of what Micro is doing, so you won't be relaxing us at no, all, Rachel. No, I'll be making you tense. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't ruin my massage. Yeah. So right. Rich has come very kindly to warm me up for dressage in the hope that we can get a tune out of me because we know that she is a little bit more difficult, shall we say. As she tries to squish micro in her bum. Um, she's been quite spirited here, so I'm not really holding up much hope for my test. But we'll see. Who knows? Maybe they'll like a sassy, tense pony. <laughs> I have left the team doing all of their hard work. Rich is studying, bless him. Microsoft is still massaging. Hannah Mama trying to keep D still slash do last little grooming bits. And we are heading back. So I'm gonna get changed and I need to be on in about 20 minutes, maybe even less than. So yeah, it's getting quite close to the main event now. Feeling a little bit stressed. I just need a wee, but I don't think we have time. No time for wheeze. Yeah, you right. No, the toilet's all the way back there. There's so much walking. Right, I don't have a mirror in the lorry, so I'm gonna check how we're looking. I don't think I've got any hair out. So, oh, can you? Oh, just hoof pick. 
Um, right, let's just talk you through. I've got my Aztec diamond jacket, really nice show shirt, and brand new britches. And then I'm being brave slash stupid and wearing my brand new mountain horse sovereign boots in black. They're so nice. I've worn sovereign boots for so, so, so long. Um, and I've actually teamed up with mountain horse now, which is very exciting. And they're so beautiful that I thought I'm just gonna put them on. So I'm just gonna saddle soap inside so they don't squeak. And last but not least, so I can hear Rich warming me up, I've got my helmet connect on. So I'm gonna pop, pop a gilet on, have my phone, Rich will call me and he'll be able to warm me up, I'll be able to hear him and he won't have to shout across the entire warm up. What have you got there Rich? <laughs> I've got a milkshake and a shortbread finger. What milkshake is it though? It's not just any milkshake. No, it's white food. Vanilla, smooth vanilla. My, fir my first trial of a Y food milkshake and it's all right. I could do it's all right. This. Yeah, I could do these. <laughs> I might be a convert. There you go. You'll be there. You heard it here first. <laughs> right, boys and girls, let's go and ride that balance. Yeah. See? I'm ready. Super in the neck, really good. That's it. And then a little half hole. Good, very good. Super. Yeah, that's the setup you've got to have. You've got to have her there that you, you have the feeling that she's given a little bit in the back of the neck. Because when you give the rain, have, she then wants to go and find you. Yeah, okay. Um, I swore I'd never do one my wall was a mental wall, not a physical yeah, 100%. wall. 100%. Good luck, wall, honey. 16, 17 guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I feel like I would reach a physical wall as well. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah.
it was all right. No, I am. I'm happy for Dee. I'm very happy because she's very excited. Good girl. I think she held it together Good girl. For, well for her. Yeah. It was just, yeah, she was tense and like I was just saying to Rich, my shapes were a bit off because I just couldn't. Once I've once you've turned her, she just does what like what she wants to do. And if you put your leg on, it feels like she's going to break or whatever. Yeah, your second 15 meter circle was a bit on the small side. A bit on the small side. Um, that was oh, Rich putting it politely. That's yeah. not what he said when I first came out. <laughs> um, I thought your trot was nice. Yeah, it was quite relaxed. No, that's to true. Look the at. first the first part, I was like, oh, my God, this is quite nice. Yeah. And then I was like, no. Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, it looked quite relaxed. It might have felt tense to you, but to no, look no, at. for like as far as yeah, D goes, it felt good. She was just, she was just tense, but she's going to be tense. Yeah, she's at badminton and she's very excited. Yeah, and she's fit. I mean, exactly. She like fit the yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. President, your trial or not? Your first canter was nice. It looked a bit tight, but then Didi, I what said, happened with first give and retake, mate? Yeah, I saw your nostrils. Yeah, that was funny. She went, oh, it's the it's the point not to show how much range <laughs> I can use. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is yeah. that not the point? Is that not fine? Maybe not, let's get dirty, ready for the next one. No, I've not got anything else to do now. Have you not? Yeah. not Are today. you not wearing all this outfit tomorrow? Oh no, I'm an influencer, I've got multiple britches. <laughs> <laughs> Ones that fit. Oh yeah, I wear the jacket, yeah. <laughs> Richard, now I've stretched these out, I've got a fantastic range of <laughs> But no, really good, I'm really pleased with her, really pleased. It was just your last can, she just looked a bit against your she right She just leg. looked like we were about to go cross country. Yeah. But no. But apart from I that, Good. And it felt nice to be riding you in there, Dee. Yeah. It did. It did. Very good. Well done. Good girl. Thanks, Uncle Rich. Oh, she's Don't mow me down now. She's going to mow you down. Good. All right, right, that's a wrap. What's the plan now? Um, I'm going for another course walk oh, with Cam. You'll like that. Oh, yeah, I'll come I with you on that one. I bet you bloody will. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sorry, okay. super. Right, guys, we would love to do a really natural reveal, but apparently Rich, Rich. Has got the whole gist of um, vlogging. <laughs> so Rich just blurted it out. Yeah. Rich just blurted it out. So Rich, would you like so to So do you want out? to know your score? I did. Oh, wow, <laughs> it's my score out already. It is, yeah. <laughs> you got 30.4. Yay! We're very pleased with that. Judge at C, how do you want 67.25%? Judge at C, not a big fan, not a subscriber. And then Judge at B on 72%. Huge Ooh. subscriber, absolutely loved yeah. it. <laughs> Very good. That's amazing. So one of the judges gave her 29 point something, 28. Yeah, I don't know if it doesn't say, just give you a percent. Oh. So judge it, do you want me to be B or E, whatever it is? 72% of B. Yeah. 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 And then 67. Mm, yeah. 27.8. Let's just, let's just have that score, guys. I've been chatting to them. I'll say, I, I only want that one, thanks. Yeah, I only want one judge. I didn't sign up for two. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm really pleased with that. Like, really, really pleased. What's the other, what's the other score? I don't know, you're in the lead at the moment. I'm in the lead! I'm in the lead, Rich! There's only two gone, but she's in the Three, actually, lead. three. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's it now. Cancelled. Right. Time to ruin all these tests. Dee Dee, you're in the lead. Yeah. I'm very pleased with you. Yes, I am. I can't believe it, Dee. I thought you were going to get a 34. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. I had you down as a 34. <laughs> okay, so smart grooming guys have literally everything, and I've never had a flat unpicker before. But Han, that is that yeah, is what that is. Can I can I give considering I'm head green? Can I give it a little go? Yeah, that looks really good. I'm gonna play with that as well. And I've also got a nice little pot to put all my needles in. Oh wow! Wait, hang on. They've got like one of those things. Oh yeah, it's in there. Life. Do you know what? The amount of mane I've lost over the years with scissors yeah. I feel, I feel like I'm in a cage The walls, the walls, they keep closing in I need a place where I can breathe Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I'm so pleased to you. Well done, sweetheart. Because honestly, before we went in, I thought, why have I bought so this pony? I thought, I've had this dream for 10 years to take this pony, and she's taking me for a ride, not in a good way. But you were so good in there, you went, oh, we're doing dressage. Did you hear the hounds literally before she went in? No. Yeah, yeah, the hounds, it was like, must be feeding them or something. They're like, rawr, rawr, and she was like, are we happy? Is it interesting? I was thinking, though, they're, they're not going to be very happy with you, Hobbs. 
The, the viewers. The police. Oh, because okay. no. they like it when you talk over the dressage. Yeah. And I looked for you and I couldn't see you. Nowhere to be uh, seen. So there's no. Hobbs at a cottage. I no... wasn't. That's with. That's a She's just turned up now, guys. So there's no talking. Sorry, guys. Oh, sorry. I'm very. Yeah, I'm very impressed. I am. Guys, you can't hold onto her because she's too wobbly. So hold onto the bottom. No, hold onto the back of her feet. Hold onto like where her bum is. No, no, her feet. Hold onto that. Yeah. Hold onto that. 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 Go on, mate. Go really fast. Oh. Don't run any horses over. Oh, there you go. See ya. <laughs> Two minutes, guys. Sorry. Cam's gonna do a course. Hello, videos. everyone. But I'm not gonna film it because I want to concentrate. But there'll be some stuff on the gram. Perfect. All right, lift up, love. No. Sorry guys. Right, so we've headed down. I was about to say the champion store then, but it's not technically the champion store. It's the witch hanger. The witch hanger store. You'll notice we've got a little pony picture here and a big old Meg face. So I'm going to sign this, um, but I'm going to prop you up because I get really nervous signing things. So I might mess it up. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Let me, let me switch that so you can see what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. So a massive one there. Do you want me to practice up so you can like see? So yeah, be like that'd be this. good. Oh my god, I'm yeah, actually Okay. Meg, down girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. So much up. I know, I'm nervous. It doesn't like to push it right against or do I have it out a bit? Have it out a bit. Oh gosh, okay. Alright, alright. Move your head a bit. There we go. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, I don't like it already. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so we should have done it in black. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, we're going again in black. Are we ready? Yeah. It's the blowing that's doing it for me, guys. Okay. Oh god, this is harder. Oh no! I will right, we'll speed this up. Guys. The end. The end. It was the wind. We'll just, head. We'll just put this one out the back. So I do bubble writing. I think I could fix this. I reckon if I were to colour it in, maybe? No. I'll make I think, it bubble and colour. I think just leave it as is, sweet. I think it's going to go downhill from here. This is why I filmed this. I'm really, I'm really nervous. It's a blowing. You're not having a hard set. <laughs> <laughs> just put this one in the back. She doesn't get asked for any autographs. <laughs> Can we get a photo with it, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going to take a photo of this and then tag me and I'm going to be like, great. Just smile next to it again. Point at it and so what you've just done. This is my work. Okay, so, I'm wearing something exciting. I have got on the new Sculpt Back Protector. Let me just pan you and show you in the mirror to be easier. So, kind of designed, well firstly, for like everyday use because it's so comfortable you can see this is just like material and then on the back we have got a nice bit of padding to protect us so you can wear it like day to day if you're a naughty youngster it'll be fab you can literally pop it under a coat or something or whilst competing for show jumping you can fit it under your show jacket it's so like guys genuinely look at those moves yeah absolutely Big, big, big claps for Champion. Very, very nice and very, like you hardly can hardly tell you put it on. And they've also got a new Mips jockey helmet. Can't get my words out. Anyway, we are gonna head back now because I've got to ride Jam Bams. So that's the next plan of action. Back on a horse and back with my sassy, Annoying dressage instructor, A Ridge. <laughs> um, so yeah, obviously on Jammy now. So I'm going to give a little school. Rich is going to help me out a bit just so we know what we're working with tomorrow. I have also got my helmet connect on. So Rich can sit here like a lazy little sausage on the camping chair and I can go out and do some hard work. And you, he's just called me, just hooks up with Bluetooth guys. I've got my phone in my pocket. Easy. Right, my love. Yeah, here he is. Here he is. Got me on speaker so I can talk back to him. Oh, you look so good. Purple suits you. Okay, bye.
good. Good. There. Good. Now let go and trot again. Good. Oh. Oh. That's it. Good. Now again, flex it to the right. Move her off your right leg. There. Good. That's a better reaction. Mm -hmm. Good. There. And then when you're ready, you can have your cancer. See you later. Good. Oh, that was a good That was good. Transition. That was good. Yeah, was it? it actually. Now it's off in the inside. Good, super like that. That's right. it. Just let it canter a little minute like that. Keep using little corrections with her to get that feeling. Just let it canter like that. So she just loosens in the back. Good. That's better. Good morning. Let's get past that generator sound because that's loud when it gets started at pre 7 a.m. Right, we're still part one, I believe, of the baddest really? vlog. We are, doesn't it? Doesn't feel like we're part one, mate, I'll tell you that for free. Feels like part 18 at this point. <laughs> Jam says, oh, I'm going, oh, my oh. wife food. Oh, you spooked the horse, oh, Hannah. That you... was you, it was your wife food. Hannah, you spooked the horse. You dropped your wife food. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to hold it very close. Do a shout out, it's Abby's birthday today. It's actually, is it Bear and Brinnies as well? <laughs> What's the date today? The 4th of May. Yeah, May the 4th be with you. Yeah. Sorry, thank you. Okay, I'll take that then. You'll take that Happy then. Happy birthday to you three guys. Happy birthday, guys. Hope you're living your best lives. Hope you're living each other. Yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, back to the vlog. Um, yeah, nerves are well and truly with me, which is really nice, but I've got to try and keep a lid on it because I've got Jam's dressage and I don't want to give her real bad vibes. Um, wife food of the day is fresh berry. Now my friends, this will probably be the only thing I can physically consume before 3 p.m. when I finish Jams Cross Country. So I might even have two of them today. Might have have you have um, tried the cookie one yet? No, I haven't yet. I don't think too sweet for me. Oh, I tried it yesterday. I didn't really like it. Berry's definitely my favourite. If it's the like team of White Food's watching, but... just scrap all the cookie stuff because Hannah yeah. doesn't like it. Oreo. Can they bring out Oreo? No, it's basically cookie, but it's different. Cookie. Different cookie. Same Pete different. loves the cookie, but then he's got a real sweet tooth. Anyway, off to Plat Jammy. And I don't know how much vlogging there's going to be today, guys. Yeah, because my heart rate's I'll already I'll gone up. From guys. All right. Is that you, what you want? You want vlogging? Yeah, yeah I think yeah, vlogging. I can just, get the message, mate. Don't you worry about I'm that. I'm just going to pass out if I try and do it. Yeah, um, I can do that. Anyway, live, laugh. Live, laugh, love. love. I promise you I'd vlog. We are mm. underway. What's Hobson? What's it called? Like. Some chi. Some chi. It sounds like it, like um, you, know, you get like crystal balls and stuff. Like, <laughs> just a bit of what's it called? Has anyone got a crystal ball that they could just see how today's gonna go? Some crystals. Are crystals like. is what, yeah. Uh, it's like yeah. Like, yeah, that's where you, you like you're burn doing. a leaf and yeah, like. yeah. I think Dee would quite like that. Yeah, I think she would. Mm. Like we're we're up. getting there. We're getting there. You've got like your hair being played with, don't you? Mm. You've got an eye bogey. Am I gonna be able to get that without you getting upset? Oh, you are good. Bye, girls. Let's go, oh, go, God. go. No. You'll be all right. You've got this. I'm not. I'm not nervous for you because you'll be fine. Right. So one of Camilla's lovely staff members has just bought over some calm cookies for my little oh, Meggie oh, Moo. No. Cookies and cream. Oh, Jammy. Jammy. She says I'll have one. Sniff that. Jammy. <laughs> right. Jammy. Can I just come underneath you, my love? Uh, I think the word on the street is that these perhaps aren't going to be your favourite thing to snack on. Oh really? Yeah, but they're meant to really harm your nerves. One to two. Ideal take. for any stressful situation. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon one now and one before jumping. Mm. How do they taste? I mean they look edible, mm. the fact that you're still eating it. <laughs> I don't know how to describe how it tastes. Like nothing I've ever tasted before. <laughs> In a good way or a bad way? I don't know. <laughs> right, I'll get them. I was, I was expecting them to be worse. Okay. I think I built myself up to be like, oh god, I'm not going to eat these, but they're fine. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to be like, oh. I fancy a snack. <laughs> I fancy a snack, yeah. Maltesers, no, give me a calming cookie. But. They're edible if they do the job. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Camilla. Here's to the good days. Here's to the sorrows. This is a mistake. Hello, 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 hello. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't want to fight no more. Cause I don't really need no more, no. 
just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best Put in the, enough right leg there just to get her off the right side, just to, to get the flexion that she doesn't fall a little bit on her right on her, on her right shoulder, yeah. and then she just looks stiff around the corner. That's better there. Good, good. Lift her up. Yeah, better pass that. Good girl. Good. Yeah. Good. Really good. You got your ritual to us, haven't you? Yeah. Oh my God. Not here. No, you got to do it on the other side. Where? On that side. Good. Because probably have dogs on it. I shall definitely do it, don't worry. We'll, get, yeah, we'll make sure you do it. <laughs> wow, just for today. Oh, 
Woo-hoo! Oh my word, now I have to jump. <laughs> 